Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amna Gul from the Department of Journalism and Mass Communication. We're back with the course Fundamentals of Public Relations, bearing the code GMC331, as well as the course Advanced Public Relations and Advertising, bearing the code GMC431. It's our eighth lecture, and the topic today is Defining Public Relations. So what we'll be talking today is we'll be actually understanding what public relations is. Uh, you already know and we have discussed this a couple of times that in social sciences we do not have clear cut agreed upon universal definitions. Rather there are so many definitions and all are uh, more or less equally true. So we'll start off from that. Generally, public relations is a, is a channel, a facilitator, and a manager of communication. Uh, it also includes conducting research, defining problems, and creating meaning by fostering communication among many groups in society. Basically, public relations is all about communication. So it not only provides as a channel, it is not only a channel for communication, rather it is a facilitator of communication and it is also a manager of communication. And that communication is based on research. It also includes defining problems and then uh, creating meaning. So, and it works in many groups within a society. In our last lecture, we discussed the UPS or United Parcel Service case, and that case illustrated the importance of this communication, both in financial terms, because the strike costed UPS about some $50 million, and in terms of reputation with strategic publics. So, public relations is a strategic conversation, as you might imagine. It is um, ephemeral, that is, it is for a very short time, but it is also a wide-ranging field. It is often misperceived because people don't understand it properly or because of the lack of uh, message control, which is obviously inherent to public relations. It is misperceived and it is difficult to master as well. Public relations, apart from this, is even difficult to define because not only because of its history but because of the way it is so some people consider it spin or some ask is it really truth telling so public relations is quite a complex concept when you come across it because it, it uh, encompasses all communication activities of an organization let's we'll be discussing organizations otherwise public relations is not at all limited to organizations of any sort Either way, public relations is, uh, public relations function is prevalent and it's growing. The fragmentation of media and growth of multiple message sources means that public relations is on the ascent, while traditional forms of mass communication such as newspapers are on the decline. So especially in this, uh, in the current globalized world, connected world, public relations is very very important and uh, more and more companies and uh, organizations institutions are accepting and even embracing the concept of public relations and they're working towards it now let's define what public relations actually is uh, there are many competing definitions of public relations of those uh, Grinnig and Hunts is the most widely cited definition of public relations. Um, they define public relations is the management of communication between an organization and its publics. It's really uh, one of the reasons that this definition is so successful is its uh, parsimony, that is, it's like a use of very few words to convey so much of information. Uh, basically what it says is it is the management of communication between an organization and its publics. So as I said earlier, public relations is all about communication. 
this definition also lays down the foundation of the profession squarely within management so it is a management function uh, as opposed to the competing approaches of journalism or promotion based approach of marketing and advertising that focus primarily on customers or consumers so it is not about uh, we'll be discussing the differences later on as well for journalism and uh, marketing and advertising they are more based on uh, or their focus is more on the consumers uh, in this case in public relations it's a management function it is a management of communication between both the parties one of the parties is the organization and the other is its publics this is too simple a definition so it gets difficult to understand the wide range of this uh, discipline by such a simple definition so but still we we'll look into the parts of this dis- definition to understand what it is mm, the component parts of chronics and hunt's famous definition of public relations are the first one is management the body of knowledge on how best to coordinate the activities of an enterprise to achieve effectiveness effectiveness so basically they manage uh, or they coordinate activities to achieve effectiveness to achieve effective communication effectiveness because communication is the next part of the definition so it's not only sending a message to receiver but also understanding the messages of others through listening and dialogue that is why it is about communication it's a two way process public relations as opposed to journalism and advertising is not one way it is two way it is not about sending a message only it is also about listening to the other part of the story and then working it out the third thing organization uh, any group organized with a common purpose in most cases it is a business a corporation a governmental agency or a non profit current scenarios uh, almost all organizations have some set up of public relations fourth public public is any group of people held together by a common interest they differ from audiences in that they often self organize and do not have to attune to messages uh, public differ from stakeholders in that they do not necessarily have a financial stake tying them to specific goals or consequences of the organization um targeted audiences on the other hand are publics who receive a specifically targeted message that is tailored to their interests so uh publics is a more encompassing word and public is a um, plural still we are using publics that we are going to discuss later on because the public is divided into different types that is so considering the different categories of the public it is known as publics only in public relations um uh, as the management of communication between an organization and its publics the definition that it was public relations has radically departed from its historical roots in publicity and journalism to become a management discipline that is it is a discipline that is based on research and strategy now i'll go from a very brief definition to a very detailed one uh, because i just want to give you the perspective of it and uh, there are different people different professionals in the field different scholars different organizations who who are um, famous for their work and their definitions are well accepted so let's move on to a very long one i'll read it out and i'll let it be on the screen for some time for you to note it down so no worries for that public relations is a management function that we have already discussed in the previous definition that it is a management function that establishes and maintains so it not only uh, let me complete this thing rather that establishes and maintains two way mutual relationships and communications between an organization and its publics and stakeholders so it not only establishes relationships 
it also maintains those relationships those relationships are two way between the organization and its publics these are mutual rela uh, relationships and it not only maintains these relationships but also the communications between an organization and its publics in this particular uh, particular definition the term stakeholders has also been used and it's been explained that those who have a stake in the organization such as employees or shareholders etc so which publics or stakeholders that often determine their success or failure so organizations may use public relations not only to build and uh, maintain relationships as well as communications with those people mm, uh, who determine the success and failure of the organization so for example if there is any organization or any business that for example sells uh, shampoo for example shampoo so those people if there aren't any people buying that shampoo how can that organization actually succeed same is the case you need distributors same is the case you need so many other people in the uh, chain so for that matter the, that uh, shampoo company actually needs to have public relations good public relations with so many other people upon whom the success or fa failure of that company uh, is uh, dependent peer management includes ongoing research analysis planning and evaluation to understand develop and nurture strategic relationships so peer is not the public relations is not something that like you get up and you think about it and you do it no all your actions all your communications all your relationships are based on ongoing research it's not that there is a research that was done 2 years ago and you are still using that no they do continuous research they go through go for ongoing analysis similarly is planning and evaluation so that they understand they develop and they nurture strategic relationships that is based on strategies areas of public relation specialization include investor relations lobbying public affairs that is government and community publicity and media blogger relations employee relations international relations and crisis management so these are just some of the areas that have been that offer specialization of public relations so public relations is not just a one man show it still has a lot of more uh, avenues often public relations and publicity are used synonymously which leads to a misunderstanding of the field of public relations uh, we will also be discussing why this uh, we there is this uh, confusion and we'll differentiate between the two this definition was actually meant to tell you that it is such a vast field and it has so many further areas that it can be divided into or branched into having said that let's move on to a uh, another definition rather before going to into another definition i'll just discuss one more thing with you that is that public relations can take many form forms actually you can find public relation when virtually every industry government and non profit organization its broad scope makes it impossible to understand without some attention to the taxonomy of this diverse and dynamic profession by taxonomy i actually mean the classification Finding there are different names for it, so we can define corporate public relations as being an in-house public relations department within a for-profit organization of any size, or within an organization that works for profit. Okay, a business, for example. So, corporate public relations is a public relations department that is housed within that organization for which it is working, and that organization works for profit. It's a business kind of a setup. On the other hand, public relations agencies are hired consultants that normally work on an hourly basis for specific campaigns or goal of the organization that hires them. So, apart from the like big, uh, uh, the bigger the organization is and the more developed it is, they have separate corporate public relations departments. But still, even if some organizations do have, there are still uh, public relations agencies that are available, and they are actually consultants who are hired 
for example, or an, um, on an hourly basis for specific campaigns or, for example, in times of crisis or to achieve some goals and they give their services. So it is not uncommon for a large corporation to have both an in-house corporate public relations department and an external public relations agency that consults on specific issues. Now, as the name, names imply, non-profit public relations refers to not-for-profit organizations, uh, foundations, and other issue or um, cause-related groups. Government relations or public affairs is the branch of public relations that specializes in managing relationships with governmental officials and regulatory agencies. So I've just touched a few to give you an idea that how vast this discipline is and uh, how many avenues are out there for you. Now let's move towards another definition. I'll go for the definition by uh, Public Relations Society of America. But before going for that very definition, I will discuss some things with you. Basically, public relations is actually taking a company, organization or person and analyzing it for its most positive attributes. So first analyzing what are the most positive things, then using those positive attributes to tell a narrative that will advance the agenda of the company, organization or purpose. A public relations professional does th this through the mutually beneficial relationships which we discussed earlier. Public relations, uh, I'll show it to you as well. Public relations professionals want to tell the public, especially current and potential customers about the brand. So they reach out to the people that have the public's ear. Who, who are those people? Reporters. Reporters on their part are searching for a story that readers will be interested in and often they are operating on a deadline. Thus, a beautiful mutually beneficial relationship is born. In the end, reporters get help doing their job and peer public relations professionals get the company, organization or person coverage. Coverage that results in more brand awareness and a better brand reputation better brand, uh, better reputation and awareness results in, you guessed it, sales. And sales, as we all know, equals success. So the definition, <coughs> public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics. I just explained how it works. See? Public relations helps an organization and its publics adapt mutually to each other. Both adapt to one another. Public relations broadly applies to organizations as a collective group, not just a business. And publics encompasses the variety of different stakeholders, which I have already uh, explained a bit and that we will be discussing more in the upcoming lectures, inshallah. Now moving on to another definition. Public relations is communicating your organization's messages at the right time and in the right place to the right audience. Excellent. Your or, every organization has some messages to communicate, but you have to plan. Public relations actually plans what is the right time to communicate that thing. Who is the right audience for that communication and which is the appropriate place for that communication? Even, for example, thinking about the channel, for example, does this, is it appropriate to use social media for this communication or shall we use a newsletter for this communication? See, is it appropriate to have this communication, for example, in a conference hall or have this communication in a classroom? There are so many things involved. With the proliferation of tools and technologies, we can measure the value of those efforts and how they align with the business's overall mission. Currently, there has been a lot of research done and uh, it speaks for the efforts of uh, public relations. Now I'll share with you a definition of public relations or an uh, yeah, an explanation about public relations 
it's a video done a video assignment done by one of your seniors and i want you to uh, have a look here we go Professional maintaining of a favorable public image by a company or the organization or a famous person is called public relations. Public relations is a form of communication primarily directed toward gaining public understanding and acceptance. Public relations usually deal with problems or issues rather than products or services. Here we have some examples of public relations. Using the news or business press to carry positive stories about your company or your product, cultivating a good relationship with local press representatives, public relations as relations with the general public as through publicity expressive. Those functions of a corporation concerned with attempting to create favorable public opinion for itself. Thank you for watching. That was Naila's way of defining public relations. She shared some of the uh, definitions with you. Uh, obviously, there were a bit of um, uh, gray areas as well, but I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, you and your own capacity can even come up with your own definitions of public relations. You all are, mashallah, well uh, equipped with a lot of knowledge and resources and you can work it out if you just work on it. Let's go for another definition. It says, public relations in its true sense is about human connections and the art of mastering human connections at a deep level. I love the way they have said it. Mm. It's about like, not about, not saying that it's about communication. It says it's about connections, human connections. So, and the art of mastering human connections at a deep level. In the early days of public relations, it was about relationships with not just the press, but communities in various forms. The difference was that these audiences were not online. Yes, earlier public relations, when we'll move towards the history of public relations, we'll understand what were, were the earlier forms of public relations. In current setups, we usually tend to see media only for building a favorable image or for example mutual understanding but it is not just media especially in current setups it's considered only social media but it's not just that it has a lot of offline presence as well uh, when played from the from a place of passionate purpose public relations in the new world will not only take social media branding and marketing to the next level but will uh, elevate the people and products that are changing the world. So once again, if it is done properly, it's, it is going to result in a lot of elevation. Then another definition, public relation focuses on building good relations with the company's various publics by obtaining favorable publicity. Publicity is actually appearance in media. Uh, so such reporting in the media about the company or mm, whatever it is for organization that it is favorable uh, building a good corporate image that is once again about reputation and handling crisis management issues which we already discussed earlier considering the ups case 
today a good public relations firm must be experts in the use of social media i totally agree with that the current times are the times of social media so a good public relations firm must be experts in the use of social media here once again i would like to share a video with you that is also of one of the students let's have a watch these were their assignments and the oh, why i'm sh uh, sharing these with you is because you are also supposed to do these things so once we are done with the lecture today i'll just explain it to you how you are going to do it uh, uh, let's play the video hey guys my name is rahman i will tell you what is public public relations professionals help a business or individual cultivate a positive reputation with the public through various unpaid or earned communications including traditional media social media and in person engagements they also help clients defend their reputation during a crisis that threatens their credibility there is an old saying advertising is what you pay for publicity is what you pay for and the public relation here was this actually needed correction but my mother it's just a student made thing so that's why it goes the way it is is it an easy profession to define in 2012 the public relations society of america accepted a few thousand submissions before finally agreeing on a definition public relation is a strategic communication process that's mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics A PR professionals works with an organization, company, government, or individual to cultivate a story that portrays that client's reputations, idea, product, position, or accomplishment in a positive light. So, in a sense, you can think of PR professionals as storytellers, unlike advertisers who tell stories through paid methods. PR professionals tell their stories through unpaid or unmeet okay now this was actually cut short somewhere maybe because the size was bigger but we'll continue with our lecture now so these were two different formats of you giving uh, an explanation of what public relations is or of you defining uh, public relations it's not that this is the standard or these are the best ones but i have shared these with you so that you get an understanding uh because things are going online and we don't have these offline meetings where we can discuss the ins and outs and the details of anything so that's why i've been sharing these things with you now i'll move on with the last definition that i wanted to share with you uh and rather i'll uh, discuss the assignment with you here now so you're supposed to do your video definitions of public relations i'll prefer the second format where actually it is you speaking and there is little text going on it's more about your voice your narration in the background and i'll prefer if any of you can do it in a simple way remember the way we discussed mm, what public relations is for a layman for uh, how it is actually practiced in our cultures in our society in our religion so how it is very practical and very uh, common in our everyday life i'll appreciate if any of you can do it that way uh it would be an excellent way and there are so many other resources available on youtube so you can even log on and search for more ideas as well dependent on uh, what suits you but once again i would like that you should do it as your style do not try to copy someone else do not try to uh, just do it as a copy paste assignment rather put in your work to do your research work it out how would you uh, as a coming uh, as a mass comm person how would you define public relations and what is your understanding of public relations with this we'll move towards our last definition of public relations that i wanted to share with you today so let's go on to that we have already done this one now the next is and i love this one that is why it's at the very end because i actually um, agree with the way it has said 
using what is public relations so using traditional and digital media which is using those free of charge because advertising is using them with charges public relations is using them free of charge so using traditional and digital media free of charge to educate and inform public masses about relevant issues and stories that are worthy of sharing and that have an impact on people now how simply and beautifully it is said it's once again the same uh, communication thing but they even use the word communication rather actually uh, use of media why that use of media to educate and inform the publics what what needs to be informed about issues and stories that are worthy of sharing and that have an impact public relations requires a creative compelling and concise approach with a deep sense of the art of storytelling through our emotions and humanity remember a, a few different uh, there was a definition that talked about human connection it's the same thing but you have to tell the story creatively compellingly in a concise way through emotions and through humanity we have the power to move and influence people through the news and media and it is very true uh, media gives you a lot of power to influence people and public relation is about making opinions building opinions that's all for today thank you